today on the early morning show middle age enjoying the best years of your life let's cue the rooster and get this show started Welcome to the Early Morning Show. Today we're talking about living the most vibrant part of your life as a middle-aged man. Now in the past, most people were taught that this is the time period when you settle into serenity and senility of life and move to the side for the young people to take over. Ha! Wrong. Well, not so fast, my friend. You see, midlife is no longer seen as a man's time to have a crisis, but to live stronger and longer than he ever did before. So what is middle age? Middle age is defined as a period of age between your young adulthood but before the onset of old age. Though the exact range is disputed, most sources place middle age adulthood between the ages of 45 to 65. Now, this phase of life is marked by gradual physical, cognitive, and social changes in the individual as they age. But this age in a man's life is also marked by newfound personal and sexual freedoms he may never have known his entire life up until then. It is around this time period that most men just begin to hit their wealth goals out of life. Now, typically up to this point, most men struggle to either make ends meet, support their families, or struggle with their businesses. But not so much for the middle-aged man. Most of his youth fantasies about being well-off or rich occur around middle age. Would you believe that most millionaires in America are not realized until just about the 60th year of their life? The average age for male millionaires in the United States is 59 years old, not 18. If you enjoy Big Macs from McDonald's, you can thank Ray Kroc for that. You see, Ray Kroc, the founding franchisee of McDonald's, did so at the age of 52 years. He was once asked, how do you create a restaurant business and become an overnight success at the age of 52? <laughs> As Ray Kroc said, I was an overnight success, all right. But 30 years is a long, long night. If you enjoy Southern Fried Chicken from KFC, then you can thank Mr. Arlen Sanders for that. That's right. Mr. Arlen Sanders, famously known by you as Colonel Sanders, was the founder of the international chicken chain KFC, or Kentucky Fried Chicken before they shortened it. Now, at the age of 62 years, he did this. Yes, Colonel Sanders was completely bored with retirement, and that type of life, so he decided to get up and make a business with national exposure over a local significance. So if you are a young man today and feel that you have not achieved the dreams and goals you had as a child, don't dismay, brother. It is not that the time has been passed by, but that is not your time yet. Know that with middle age and wealth comes more leisure time. Yes, you can get off, it's your time. Middle-aged men do far more traveling than younger men or women combined. See, as they are not burdened with the constraints of being late for a job that they don't even like. They don't have to worry about missing a shift tomorrow than getting fired from a job they hate. They enjoy the leisure and affordability of more international travel. Now, what about the question that everyone wishes to know? What about sex? Ah, the false notion that nothing works down there beyond youth. <laughs> Not so for the middle-aged man, as he can now enjoy more pleasurable sex and with younger women. You see, middle-aged men don't have the same games played with them that young men do with younger women. And older men attract more younger women because younger women are attracted to older men for their wealth and their commonness in difficult situations. You see, a middle-aged man enjoys his time off because they typically own their own homes more than rent homes. Now, during their youth, they pack their nest egg with the funds for retirement and benefits for those they leave behind. 
Now, in their youth, before they got their life together, you might have found these young men living off of ramen noodles and having their bank accounts in their back pocket, as opposed to real bank. Now, also, contrary to popular belief, these men enjoy a better standard of health as they can afford doctor visits and the takeoff than young guys can ever do. So they take care of themselves. So if they have families, this is the age that the closeness between them just starts to pay off. Sure, married men may go through a form of hell with the young bride and struggle raising their children, but all that turns around once everyone in the family realizes it is in their best interest not to fight one another in order to have a family lineage. You don't have to do that. So remember, middle age is not what we thought it is. It's not the ending. It's only the beginning. For the Early Morning Show, this is Charles Rivers. We'll see you again soon.